Hello everyone, welcome back to Polybridge! There has been a big update that added something around 22 or 23 levels or something like that. The difficulty ranges from easy in Alpine Meadows to hard, as like really hard or something, in Sun Gardens. I will start playing in the new levels in Alpen Meadows, and as always, or as normal, I have already solved all the levels in the update, because I made some of the levels and test the rest. So, no surprises for me, but you might like my solutions, because I will try to solve them in interesting ways, especially the early levels. The later levels I will probably just try to solve them, because some of them are really hard. So, let's see. First one is checkpoints. I might miss some levels, but if I do, that's okay, because I can just play them later. And shouldn't be any problems with doing that. And here we have a checkpoint, that star up there. You might be wondering why I'm building a normal bridge here. It's to show you that you actually need to catch the star. So, checkpoints. Basically, you need to touch the checkpoint with your car to get it to solve the level. If you don't touch the star, you can't solve the level. Really simple. And it makes it... It's a tool so that forces people to do certain things on some levels. That enable us to do some interesting levels that we couldn't do before. And I think that's really cool. But that's... Probably the simplest solution here, but the level is basically there just to show you how checkpoints works. Let's see. Double down. We have two cars here. I don't know what they're called, but they're cars. And they should touch the stars and then go back up here. They go at the same time. Let's just get a trace line and get the line. No, no, no. Cancel it and place a new one. Like that. And then drop it down. I have some trouble with the camera. I wonder why. Let's just do that. And connect with some steel on the left side. Because these cars will drop down and hit here a bit heavy. So it might be nice with some extra protection there. Let's just do this here. And we will be fine. I think this will work. Let's just do that as well. We are under budget. Like I said, or didn't say, the levels in the beginning has really high budgets and are quite easy. They're basically there to show you how the system works and not like be a challenge for you. Okay, let's try this level. I will try to make a interesting solution that uses flipping roads. Let's just move it into the side, like that. And here and here. Change the numbers, good. Also, we need the top. And copy it over. The numbers are correct, the numbers in the middle were not correct. And now we need pistons. Here we say, and it's going pretty fast here in the beginning because, first of all, I actually tried to record these like a few minutes ago. Or a few minutes ago. Yeah, straight, straight before this, and I forgot to click record. So I got to this point. And I did pretty much the same solutions and such. But first I tried... I tried to do this solution from the beginning on this level as well. But I tried... With like that. And... Like that from the beginning. And it was over budget so I lowered the budget. And I actually think it didn't work or something. But that's what I did, so... Okay. We played, which one was it? It was not checkpoints, we played Double Down. And I didn't ex no dot dot didn't be double down. Fair 
they're back again. Isn't that like the Hobbit movie? Or the book? Or something? So, they like showed just another bridge here. So, this mark here makes like the car stop on that sign. And after a certain point, after this piston here, it will flip around and go back again. So that's one of the new things in the update. So this car will flip around and drive over the bridge again. It should probably be on some of the earlier levels as well, or levels that was created before, so you can't do like weird ramps to avoid building drawbridges on some levels. I have definitely done that, so other people have probably done it as well. Yeah, and this one here. Easy elevator. So, we have the cars. They will drive here to that point and then stop. So there they will stop. And then it will be a piston phase. And then we will start driving again. And because this is a really easy level, you might actually be able to solve at least the bottom one by just dropping it down straight. And for the second one, maybe that. Yeah, worked. Okay. So that was easy elevator. Next world! A bit harder levels here. And I? I I? Ah! No, no. It's because it looks like an eye. Like the eye in your face and not the letter. Yes, it'll be clear. So copy that, flip it over. Don't think that might that might not be tall enough. To be honest, but. We'll see if it works. If not, I will just change it. I still would like to have like floating road mo mode, so roads don't fall down, so you can test if your bridge would work, more or less. But I don't think that will be added, because it's... Not a lot of people would use it, and it would take more time than it's worth to implement, I think. So that's that's level. Really safe shows that a car needs to go to its own checkpoint, more or less. So you can't have this car go here and that car go here. And there I press the guide, but you can't see that. Let's see, three and then it's six. And I will play through quite a bit of these levels today. At least that's my plan, because I want to get to the harder levels as fast as I can. So this is basically a roller co coaster. should probably lower it here. It makes it easier if you just touch the stars, so you are, like, reduce the curvature of your road as much as you can. Well, th that might work. That might also work. And... This will probably work as well. And actually, on this level, you don't need to take them in order. So, if you want to build some crazy thing that I don't know how you would build, you can do it. But I don't know how you would take, like, star number two before one. And you can also see that this car is A1, and the star is A1, then a 1. So it's the first checkpoint for that star. So if, if it had a trigger, it, the trigger would be named, like, A1, 1. So you know which star from A1 triggers what. Really useful. Let's go down. Here. 
need to split the road here, like, well, I mean, a split here to extend it. Otherwise, it would have been uh, working bad. What am I doing? I should just build! Build is beautiful! And that, like, Squarespace's slogan thing. Or maybe they've changed it. I think they had you should after build it beautiful. And I don't know if they've changed from you should. And to be clear, I'm not sponsored by Squarespace. And I'm just going to build some supports here. I have lots of money. And that's just because it's a early game level. So people that's not that good at the game should actually be able to solve it. Under budget. And the car is going. It hits the first and second flag. And the fourth. And so on. We did it! That was... 2, 6 or 2, 9. Let's just ex ex exit. Hills and valleys. That's 6, 6. And then we have 6, 9. And I have it on a little piece of paper next to me. Which levels are the new ones. So here. We see a use for a star. So. What we could have done before. This, before we had checkpoints for levels. On this level, people would have just have built road like that and gone straight over the boat. But on this level, you can't do that. You need to touch the star. So, you need to have a road at least something like that. And it's un unavoidable. So it makes for some interesting designs. And I quite like it. I like limiting players in certain ways to force them to do more creative solutions and do different things than we usually do. Because that makes people think and not do what they already know. And that's a good thing. I just have these in between, and the budget is also really high on this level. Hmm. Okay, here. Should we lift it up to one side, or should we split it? Let's lift it up to one side here. Let's lift it up. Lifting up, it's probably easier than anything else, so that's why I'm doing it. Having it like that. I need to reinforce this point here, so we'll do it with steel, like that. I will also have a steel beam up here. Have it, yeah, have it on an angle like that. To a cable at the end. Good. And then a piston, like that. Let's see if this works, and increase the speed to 300%. I think I'll... I think I liked it more, how they had the arrows before, when there only was one. And I think it still, will still break. No, it actually didn't. Good. And that worked fine. Awesome. Try again. No. Escape. And this was 2 9. Slant sloped drawbridge. And then we have 2 11. Lift me up. Yeah, this is the level I think they should change, and it's a level I made, but it was before I knew exactly how Vidraulics worked. This thing doesn't need to be there, so that star doesn't have to be there. The level would look a bit better without it. Okay. 
Okay, we have that. We need something like that, probably. Split it up. And now the first car should go here. And the second one drops down. So now, now we need to lift it up. We could do something like that, but we're over budget. And yeah, I think that was is a problem people will have on this level because I think it's really hard to get a elevator solution. And I think most people will try to do an elevator solution. Like a solution like this, and this won't even work because of reasons. It won't be under budget. And the reasons this won't work is pretty much that it will flip. But I can lower this one here. And to make it not flip, I could. Let's. The distance here is like that, so I could have something at that angle. That would work, and then we would at least need to have one more. Delete it. Go it to there. And that bug again. Okay, now we're on the budget, but I don't think it will work. Because it flips. And how do we avoid the flipping? We can change the height here. So we're on two different levels. And that will help a bit. But might not help 100% as you saw. The best way is to have three different ones. Okay, we're lowering the budget a bit more by doing that. So, okay. They all need to be the same, like that. So I could have one. I would like to reuse a joint. Hmm. Two. Let's try that and see if I can do, make it on the budget. So I need to connect it here, here, and maybe like that. But I don't have my hydraulic. So I'm 200 over budget right now. But that works. Then I need to make the budget go lower. 200 or so. This could work. Yeah, awesome! Actually got it to work. Nice. I will actually save this one as number four. Yeah, I really like it. So other solutions to lose this level is like that one, that one, and this one here. This is the first time I managed to get it to work under budget and it's not breaking by just having a lift. So I'm really, really happy about this bridge. It's awesome. It's really cool. Great. Let's see here. 12, 11, that was. And we have 13. I will finish this, this world in this video, I think. But after that, I will uh, end the video. So, just a few more levels in this one. Okay, we have... Car A goes here. We can see it. With this, it goes here. And then, there's a hydraulic phase. And it 
goes again. So the car will go here, and a boat will go here at the same time. Then there will be a hydraulic phase, so I can lower a bridge here. And then this boat will also go. So I need to raise the bridge up on this side. So let's do that. Let's just do a simple thing. This level is here in the campaign for one specific reason. You can't solve it without using a new mechanic that they added to the game. A mechanic that I really, really like. And has made it possible to do some really, really cool solutions. If you don't watch this, like, further in my Let's Play, or want to do look at it before I get there, I will probably have it in my... whatever it's called... free solution videos for the game. So something like this. Uh, some really cool solution using a system that you will use here. But as you see, this one solved the level. So what you need to do is go into the hydraulic controller and turn these off. So now those hydraulics want to activate in the next stage. That's kind of amazing. Really, really cool. You can also turn off split joints. So now that split joint would destroy everything. But if I disable it, it won't do that, so... It has no point, but it is there. I will actually show that it is there, so now I activated it in the second stage. So, after that card gets over here, it will drop like that. Really cool! I quite enjoy that thing get Sh schedule and move on move in on up off on okay this one we will need to move that car up here so the car will go here and then something will happen and it will go here I will do this one without pistons I think yeah. Why use pistons? There's no road limit, so I don't need pistons. Pistons are for piston users. And not for, um, I don't know, something? I wonder, okay, I will kind of use pistons for this one, kind of. So this is not what I was thinking from the start. But it will be an interesting solution. And I will need pistons. Could. Maybe. Hmm. I wonder. Yeah, over budgets. Don't think I ca can do the solution I wanted. So, but what I wanted to do was to have weight. That lift the bridge up instead of the piston. But I don't think that would have worked under budgets, that is. So here we have a bit of road. Let's just connect these up. The car should be able to go under this without any problems. Good. And then we'll need... Could probably have a steeper angle. So something like that. Let's have it so cl as close as we can, like that. Okay, good. Connect the road up again. And then just add some wood. 
and some wood here. Let's let's change it up a bit. Okay. So we just have wood. Let's have it like that. So this wood works pretty much as cable. Except that that broke. Okay. We need to slow it down and have stress mode on. So that one looks red. That's the first one that gets destroyed. We might reduce the stress on it by doing something like this. And why why am I flipping it? Because that can't work because it's an angled road. Still don't like it. But you need to fiddle around with the road to get it next to the wall. Still a bit red. But not as bad. And I moved that one up a bit. Because maybe it was something, but. Okay. Good. It changed the place where it broke. And that's a good thing. Because when I fixed the first problem, basically. And we're pretty tight on the budget. Yeah. So... What can we do to reduce the budget? We could... Have... The road... Go a bit steeper. Let's move up some things. Destroy that one. Move, move. Good. So now we can have this road going through down here. It might have a harder time moving up, but it will be easier for it to lift it up and go through. So this shouldn't... Okay. I thought that it shouldn't, but it did it anyway. That's a sh shame. Breaks that one. No more budgets. That's not good. Hmm. I might need to rethink this. Awesome. That worked. Now let's see if the car can get up. It could! Awesome! That's awesome. Let's see it. Without the ugly stress thing. Bridges look so much better without the stress thing. Urgh. Let's see it again. Speed it up. Don't get... You're getting stunk! Okay. Lower it and see if it works. Good! And... I think the next one is one too. Yes, it is. This is also a level where you have to use the hydraulic controller. And I did a awesome, yeah, I would say awesome solution for this level. I think but that's the only word I can use to describe the solution I did. So we have the bridges. That goes on. I've done this wrong. Haven't I? Yeah. I should have known. Because they want... Like, levels in the early game. To be able to have straight road. Like that. 
without using grid mode. So let's, I will just make a basic solution, I think. Something like that, and... Hmm. Does, will that work? Good, only twos. And then one piston down here. Now this is not a piston control level. It's just a... A. It seems we have a problem here. Because that need to go up here, okay? Yeah. So something has happened. So this is my the solution I like, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, as you see, these solutions need viral controller, but it's not here anymore, so that's really weird, but this, this is the solution I created today, that I really, really like. So it activates the piston for all stages, this same piston. It only uses joints to change. And I think it's really, really cool. It's one of my favorite solutions in the game, actually. But I will, after I've recorded this, I will report this bug. Because that's a big problem, because that level I don't think you can solve it, or... You will have troubles solving it. It was 2.14. Let's see. If I load it again now... No, 2... 2.15. Now I have a controller. Okay. Huh. Let's load something. Okay, next level. If you click next level, the hydraulic controller won't show up. That's a huge bug. I need to report that. If you want to see my next episode, click here in the box in the middle.